Here are the video solutions for NCFE Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and this is section B which is the calculator section and this is the October 2019 paper. So let's take a look at the first question. So we want to use um, using this template to create to create a grouped frequency table for the data. So we've got one, two, three, four uh, rows so we're going to be splitting this into four bands. Now um, the lowest I can see is two and the highest is 37. So for me uh, zero to 40. So let's do this in blocks of 10. So we've got zero to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and 31 to 40. Okay and what do these uh, values correspond to? Um, How many minutes waiting time? So it's waiting time. Okay, so let's write here waiting time, and this is in minutes. Okay, so let's find all the 0 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, missed one, 8. So this one here I would call uh, frequency. Okay, let's find all the numbers beginning with a 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the numbers beginning with uh, a two. Oh, actually, we just need to be careful that there aren't any 20. So uh, 21 to 30, so that is mainly um, everything beginning with a two or a 30. So that's one, just the two. And 31 to 40 is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's check that this works. So we've got um, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 24 numbers. Do these add up to 24? 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 9 is 19, plus 5 is 24. So that is perfect. Okay, for 2b, this is the kind of question where you might want to read it a few times, uh, but you can see that uh, patient number 1, for example, um, didn't wait at all as you would expect for the very first patient, they're not behind anyone. So the blue represents the, so this person waited zero minutes uh, and the check, uh, the appointment was 10 minutes. Whereas this third person waited for a short period of time and then spent the blue amount of time with the doctor. So what do we need to look out for here? 40% um, of people waited no time or less than 10 minutes. Okay. so. How many of these people waited less than 10 minutes? Well, this person waited less than 10 minutes. This person waited less than 10 minutes um, because they didn't wait at all. Now, 10 minutes is an entire, is that distance there. So this person here is waiting time. Well, we can definitely, without, even without doing a calculation, we can see that they waited for less than 10 minutes, as did this person. This person was more than 10, this person more than 10, less than 10, more than 10, more than 10, much more than 10, less than 10, less than 10. Not sure about this one. Uh, that's more than 10, more than 10, and less than 10. So um, I've gone from circling to ticks. So how many um, have I ticked? So these are the people that waited for less than 10 minutes. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so that's eight out of 15. So, um, as Meter says that 40% of people waited no time or waited less than 10 minutes. Well, we worked it out to be eight out of 15. And what is that as a percentage? So that is gonna be eight divided by 15. So top divided by bottom, multiplied by 100. And that is and that is 53.3 recurring percent. So is As Meter correct? No, she is not correct, she is wrong. It's 53, not 40%. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. So uh, first of all, we know that uh, the scale is one centimeter to two kilometers. So uh, on the map, we just double the number and that's it in kilometers. So if on the map it's 6.5, 6.5 times by two is 13. So that is 13 kilometers. So the distance is 13 kilometers, 28 pence per kilometer. So the calculation is 13 times by 28 which is 364, now that is pence, so to turn that into pounds, that is three pounds and 64. Okay, for D, 
So the car is facing northwest. So naughty elephants squirt water or never eat shredded wheat. So it's facing northwest, so between north and west. So it's facing in that direction. And when she's finished the visit, she turns the car around ready to drive southeast. So going in this direction. So if it's gone, if it was facing in this direction and it's now turned to this direction, we can see that that is half of a circle. So that is 100. And 80 degrees. Okay, so let's have a look at E then. So we know that um, one, she says that one um, full tank of fuel means she can drive 800 kilometers. So 52 liters gives her 800 kilometers. So what would one liter be? Well, that would be 52 times less. So 800 divided by 52, 800 divided by 52. Um, is 15.38 uh, kilometers per liter and that is less than the um, the stated fuel consumption of 17 so is as meters fuel consumption as good as the manufacturer claims well the answer is no it's 15 not 17 okay so for part f uh, we want to round the litres of fuel and the cost per litre to the nearest whole number. So 40.2, we're going to call that 40. 130.1, we'll call that 130. So um, if it's 130p per litre and it's 40 litres, the calculation is 130 multiplied by 40. And 130 times 40 is 5,200. And since this is pence, this is also pence. So turn that into pounds, 52 pounds. She got charged £52.70. Has she been charged the right amount? Well, yes, she has, because uh, £52 is pretty close to uh, the £52.70. OK, so um, we want to calculate the perimeter in metres. So let's calculate the perimeter in centimetres first. So it's 225 and 150. So the perimeter is 225 plus 150 plus another 225 plus another 150 and remember that this is centimetres so that is 750 centimetres now one metre is 100 centimetres so we're, when we're converting centimetres to metres we divide by 100 and 750 divided by 100 is 7.5 so 7.5 metres draw in all the lines of symmetry on the flower bed well it's a rectangle so there are only two lines of symmetry one is vertically down the middle and one is horizontally through the middle. Don't be fooled into thinking that you can do the diagonals. Uh, if you drew a line, try to fold uh, a piece of A4 paper along its diagonal and you'll see that this point here does not sit on this point here, it will sit up here somewhere. So it's just two lines of symmetry as shown. Okay, so for C, uh, what I'm gonna do is work out the area in cubic centimeters. So the area is 225 times by 100, did I say cubic, I mean square to centimetres, uh, 225 times 150, which is 33750 square centimetres. So the uh, red section is going to be a third of that. So 33750 divided by 3 is 11250. Now every 12 square centimetres there is a plant, so how many 12 square centimetres go into 11250? 11250 divided by 12 is the question we need to be asking ourselves and that uh, comes to uh, 937.5 plants. Now you can argue that you could should round that up to 938 um, or you could argue that um, if a plant needs 12 square centimetres then um, 938 means you're packing too many in but then you might argue well there's not enough coverage to make the redness of the red part of the French flag um, but for this question you can round it down to 937 or you can round it up to 938 and both answers are completely acceptable here um, so yeah 937 or 938 I'm going to round it down to 937 okay so for this question we want to calculate the mean cost per tray so that is the total divided by the number of trays, which is one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. 
So the total is 42.98 plus 31.56 plus 33.98 plus 42.99 plus 35.75 plus 28 pounds 50. And that comes to a total of 215 pounds 76. So 21576 divided by 6 is the calculation and we get an answer of £35.96p. OK, so from the previous question, we know that um, a tray was £35.96. And so if there were 310 plants in a tray, then we just need to divide this number, uh, the 3596 by 310. However, we are going to get a very small answer. And since we want the answer in pence, um, it would be a good idea to turn the 3596 into pence, which is simply 3,596 pence divided by 310, and that comes to approximately 11.6 pence. So the mean cost per plant is over 10 pence. Well, 11.6 pence is greater than 10 pence. So is Thomas correct? Yes, he is. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, 3F. So for this one, that what we need to do is work out the volume um, in the plant tray, which is the three dimensions multiplied together. So 30 times by 50 times by four, and that comes to 6,000, and this is going to be cubic centimeters. Now, one cubic centimeter is one milliliter. That is a really easy conversion. So 6,000 um, cubic centimeters is 6,000 milliliters. Now, we want the answer um, in liters. It says how many liters? Remember that one milliliter is, let's start, try that again, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So when we're going from liters to milliliters, we are multiplying by 1,000. So if we're going in the other direction, we are dividing by 1,000. So 6,000 divided by 1,000 is six. So the answer is six liters. Okay, on to part G. So the uh, grit to compost, let me just write down grit to compost is one to four. So the compost, what we can work out from this is the compost is always four times the amount of grit. So is four and one fifth multiplied by four, is that 16 and four fifths? That is basically the question. So what I would probably do, unless you, um, have, you were able to type this into your calculator as a mixed number. Now, think about one fifth. Um, what is one fifth as a decimal? Uh, well, it's very easy to do decimals when we're talking about tenths or one hundredths or one thousandths. So what is one fifth in tenths? Well, one fifth is two tenths. So that is a 0 0.2. So four and one fifth is 4.2 and 4.2 multiplied by four is 16.8. Now is 0.8 four fifths? 0.8 is 8 over 10, and that can be simplified to 4 fifths. So 16.8 is 16 and 4 fifths. So are the numbers in the correct ratio? The answer is yes, because the compost is exactly four times more than the amount of grit. Okay, question number four. Um, so we, the world population is this figure here, and one in nine, so that is one ninth. So we just want to work out one ninth of 7726.5 million. Let's just ignore the word million for now. Let's just work out one ninth of this figure here. 7726.5 divided by nine is 858.5. And remember that that is million. So to the nearest million, we that means we're gonna be rounding to the nearest whole number. So we're interested in the value of the first decimal place. If it is five or greater, then we'll move up. Otherwise, we'll move down, and it is a five, so we'll move up to 859 million. Okay, so what we need to remember is that the range, that is the biggest, take away the smallest. So is there anything bigger than 170? Yes, 172. Anything bigger than 172? We're up to 175. Any advance on 186? 190. So it's 190 is the biggest. What is the smallest? I've got a 156, 151, 151, any, I don't think there's anything smaller than 151. So 190, take away 151, so the range is 
39. Okay, what is the probability that one of the people chosen at random has a mid upper arm measurement of less than 160? Well, how many people are there in total? Uh, it's four by five, so there are 20. So out of the 20, how many are less than 160? Oh, let's just have a look. How many less than 160? That is less than 160, as is that. Uh, any others? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So the probability is six out of 20. Um, now we could use a calculator to turn that into a decimal, just six divided by 20. But if you simplify the fraction, it's three out of 10. And when we've got tenths, we know we are dealing with one decimal place. So that's just 0 0.3. Uh, but again, you can do six divided by 20 or three divided by 10 to get 0 0.3. Remember to turn a fraction into a decimal, you're just doing the top divided by the bottom. Remember that that line of a fraction does mean divide. On to part D. So we just need to follow the steps here. So it says here calculate the height times the height. Okay, it sounds a bit weird, but 1.60 times by <clears throat> 1.60, of course you can leave the zeros off if you want, that is 2.56. Step two, divide weight, which is 64, by the answer to um, step one. So divide by 2.56 and we get a BMI of 25. Okay, on to part E. So what we need to do here is work out 20% of 300 and also 15% of 440. So we need to multiply the 300 and we need to multiply the 440 by the percentage multipliers for 20% and 15% respectively. Now for 20% it's 0 0.2 or 0 0.20, but that zero doesn't need to be there and 15% is 0 0.15. These percentage multipliers are the decimal equivalents of these percentage amounts. In other words, it's the percentage figure divided by 100. 0 0.2 times by 300 is 60, and 0 0.15 times 440 is 66. Um, so this was village A, this was village B. 66 is greater than 60. So which village has the higher number of people? that is going to be uh, village B. Okay, um, this one is just write one million in figures. Um, so I, I guess a lot of people probably would just know that a million is one with six zeros. Uh, but I suppose if you're struggling with this, then just think about your the number system. You've got units, then you've got your tens, your hundreds, then you've got thousands, so each one is 10 times greater than the previous one. So here is thousands, so a thousand times 10 is this is going to be 10 thousands. Then we've got 100 thousands, and then after that, we've got millions, so that's going to be one in the millions, and one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. There we go, so one with six zeros. 4G. What fraction of um, food wastage comes from supermarkets? So supermarkets is 15%. Now, remember that a percentage is a fraction. Percent means out of 100. So 15% means 15 out of 100. There we have it. We've got a fraction, but it's not a fraction in its lowest terms. We can simplify the fraction. Hopefully you can spot that both the top and the bottom numbers are multiples of five. So divide the top by five, you get three. Divide the bottom by five, you get 20. So as a fraction in its lowest terms, it's 3 twentieths. Okay, so um, for H we're d doing a pie chart um, based on the data above. Now we'll s notice that other just occupies, um, well, one kind of the tiniest slice available using these markings. Now other is 5%. Okay, so that's handy. So so five. So if we're starting here, then 5%, 10%, 15 20 25 etc. So it should be fairly straightforward, this one. So let's go for um, supermarkets is 15%. Okay, so if we just start here, go, oh, we don't have to start here, we can start anywhere really, but it would make sense just to start from this slice. Um, 5, 10, 15, so this here is supermarkets. Let's do the uh, next one. Let's just do the smallest one. Restaurants, 35. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, 
Okay, so this slice here is, let's just, um, I'll count up the number of dashes and I'll check with the table that it's correct. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It should be 45%. It is, and I just need to label that as households. And we are done, and that is the end of the assessment.